not ready for a kid, then you just shouldn't. Don't be ready, and nobody should pressure you to have no kid. Right. Ever. Actually, this cousin's on my mom's side. We always been cool since probably oh, it's like six years. Yeah, we met at a wedding. Mad at a wedding. We yo, it's crazy. Like we got, I didn't even know I have mad cousins on my mom's side. Mad cousins. Oh, and wow. we met like six, seven years ago, and we just been cool since then. Like we got link up. This is the first time we linked yes, up. Yeah, second time. Second. That was second time we linked up. This is the same time I'm wow. It's crazy. So yeah, this is my sis Queen. Go follow her page. She do lashes. She's mm -hmm. based in Long Island. Um, go get your lashes done. Hello, Hello. Queen's okay. Cuticles <laughs> on AG. Follow me, follow me. Period. So today we're gonna be talking about friendships, relationships. We're gonna be talking about everything, okay? T we're gonna give y'all. Tea. Our experiences, what we've been through, and some advice to give y'all for people that's like 18 or over, mm -hmm. or going through a really bad relationship or friendship, and you just you need some advice. And I got this right here, like she. Cause we know, we would know. We trust me, we would know. <laughs> we went through a lot, okay? So, so what should we talk about? Friendships, it's like people try to ignore the red flags, which is like, that's the negative first thing you're doing wrong. People, if you see them showing signs of jealousy and if you tell them good news and they just really not happy for you and acting like it's supposed to be expected, you need to cut that, sh you need to cut that off right then and there. Like, that's clear. Because imagine what they're gonna do in the long run. Like, it could be your birthday. They're gonna try to get the spotlight. They're gonna try to act like everything's about them. They're gonna try to throw a fit. Just all negative stuff that is just gonna be bad in the long run. If you find a good friend, you're not gonna deal with none of that weird stuff or rip, yeah. especially. So it's just better to keep steady yourself. A lot of people think staying to yourself means being lonely, and being lonely is negative. No, I be telling all my friends who just get in relationships like, don't be crying and stuff. Like, date yourself. Go take yourself shopping. Go to the cheesecake factory by yourself. Go write your goals in your notebook. Nobody got to be stressing you and clocking you and just on your body. Like, people mm -hmm. be fiending to jump out of relationship to into one. And it's like, breathe for a second. Just Do you want an STD? Nobody wants an STD. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I know y'all being nasty. Do you want to have a kid? If you, out of nowhere. Like, if you 18 and over and you want to have a kid, let me know. Comment down below. <laughs> Zero comments. <laughs> Okay, cause honestly, I be feeling like I have girlfriends that is having kids. No shade to y'all if y'all watching this, but I know the behind story what y'all are going through. You're and not ready for a kid. If you're not ready for a kid, then you just shouldn't. Don't be ready, and nobody should pressure you to have no kid. Right. Ever. Ever. Because that's a lifetime, not sentence, because, you know, you love your kid, but that's a lifetime thing. Like, you just completely change your future by having that kid. Straight up. Like, everything is really not about you no more. Um, it's just adding complications to your life. Because even family be acting funny about your kid and your friends be acting funny about your kid. Like, why don't you bring your kid over here? Can I watch your kid? Can mm -hmm. I this, can I that? Ever since you had your kid, you changed. You act funny. Just, like chill like you got a man more men to me that you probably would wish would be your actual baby's father and husband and just do stuff the proper way the american dream way y'all just rushing y'all doing too much y'all mad quick like love your kids yeah it's beautiful gorgeous but yeah a lot of people resent their kids when they get older because they feel like their kids ruin their life nobody asks to be here, you was being wrong. Nobody asked to be here. Nobody <laughs> like asked nobody be asked to be here. You was being fast and wrong. Especially it's 2021. It's a it's a crazy world. It's like 2020 part two. Like yeah. what's going on? Like I this is God. crazy. I don't even understand what people say when they say that. <laughs> like 2020 part two. Like what is it bad already? Is 
January bad already? Low key. Y'all saw the Capital news. and stuff. Yeah. These these, these crackers. <laughs> <laughs> these caucus <laughs> from, from the mountains of caucus. <laughs> Are acting a fool in the capital. What's going on? <laughs> it's a revolution. I heard that the girl who was pepper sprayed wasn't even harmed, and she was literally rubbing like onions on her face and stuff. Yeah, I saw that. Like this. Listen, you ain't hear that from me. You ain't hear from me. She's like, "What do you mean? What am I doing at the capital? It's a revolution." And you see an onion, jail. a towel, whatever right. you're holding. You're like going this. to jail. You're done. <laughs> like, give it up. You're done. But anyways, like I was saying, for people that, well, let's say you are pregnant right now and you have the opportunity if you want to abort the child and you feel like you need to abort it, really follow your mind and think about, oh, your future and the child's future. Because I didn't have a good childhood. Like, you can't just bring a child into this world and want to go party and want to leave them with your mother, leave them with your uncles like mm -hmm. i wouldn't even trust a man around my child boy or girl like so y'all risking your child's life to do stupid stuff really now if your child was to pass away in someone else's care you're gonna boo who cried but you was at a party the night before mm -hmm. and that's a fact and like for the females out there you picking out these baby daddies that ain't doing Bad. ain't doing nothing no car they selling weed, weed. They selling all not even hard tonight. drugs to get real money <laughs> Y'all got a kid? That's for somebody who don't got no children. Okay? Oh, bro, you got bad. kids. Y'all need thousands and thousands of dollars. Literally. Diapers is expensive. First of all, you have to be mentally ready for a kid. You could, you, you could be financially. Okay, cool. This dude had mad money. Right. He but mentally? Dude. Mentally, if you're not physically please. there too. Post-traumatic. What is it now? Postpartum? Mm -hmm. Dis, uh, what is it? Depression? Please. Yes. You know how many people go through that? Literally, pretty much all women I heard. So, if you're not mentally prepared for that, that's two negatives. That's two negatives in one situation. It's like y'all doing too much, y'all rushing, y'all being too fast, y'all being too grown. Mm -hmm. And then, like, like a lot of y'all are getting pregnant, and y'all don't even know nothing about pregnancy and about having a kid at all. You don't know the symptoms. Please. They don't know nothing about condoms. <laughs> 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 that's what they do. That's what they don't know. They don't know nothing about no condom. They just know Planned Parenthood. I swear to God. But, um. Birth control is always there. Okay. Okay. Or. Birth like control is making him pull out. Like, birth control really isn't even good for your body. It really isn't. But, I mean, if I'm you're irresponsible, so am I. And it's not good for my body. It's, it's not good for anybody. None of our bodies. good for your body. The but we eating, right water probably terrible for <laughs> but like even like foods because the main thing about birth control is that it gives you mood swings and like you really don't be acting yourself like it just gives you mood swings and your weight goes up and down but mm -hmm. foods be having stuff in it like that too like shit do not be approved by the fda and stuff Fine. maybe injecting bananas like and chickens with mm -hmm. what steroids so what does that have what's going on in us now any meat uh, cows and stuff anything especially you know? red like, meat what? any meat even chicken yeah hell yeah it's od but freaking um relationships relationships with friends what boy men men mm-hmm because you've been single for a while now and you definitely just have that your relationship and kept her pushing, as most women can't do. So I applaud you for that. Yeah. So okay. how are you now? What is you talk to dudes? Do you mind your business? Do you date yourself? Love yourself. Honestly, people need, need to, to learn, learn how to love yourself. love yourself and first figure who you are first. Like I be rushing. It's just like they want to take you know photos on Instagram and oh that's too fun. Cool. Yeah, and y'all don't even like each other. Terrible relationship. <laughs> like y'all arguing every single day. Like honestly, if y'all seeing like a homegirl, like oh, look at my day. They probably had an argument or like exactly. just before the picture. I swear. You and be me? lying, be capping, be be acting like they got the best relationship no. in the world. And the thing is that both of us know people like that. No shade if you're watching this. No you shade, know, or it's the truth. It's the truth because we know we both say it to you. Like, come on now, if you got beef, whatever. Like, it is what it is. You can't fight, so anyway. <laughs> 
Crazy. Not me. Nah. <laughs> Craziness. Oh, nah, but seriously. People no, be jealous. Yes. People be jealous. Like, who you hanging out with and who you telling your business to? Like, let's say if you are getting mentally abused or physically abused. That's abuse. Period. Like, that's abuse. Get help. 911 is there for a reason. I know some people are like, I don't trust the cops. They've got domestic violence uh, numbers to call. And yeah. they'll come, like, house you or, you know, mm -hmm. get you away from the situation. But it's like, you are kind of like stopping time by staying with someone like that because you can't do nothing. You can't go out. You can barely go with family. Like, you're stopping yourself from doing so much. You can't go to work without them thinking you're cheating. You're stopping your life. Like, you need to get out of that situation. Mm -hmm. So, y'all think relationships, period, that y'all, two people that love each other is a positive thing. No, you can love each other and still hurt each other. And y'all just be letting people hurt the hell out of y'all. Yeah. Do you love yourself or you you clearly feel like you deserve this? So that's why you keep tolerating it. Or do I've you love it. this relationship or what? Or do you love the idea of it? Because a lot of people just love the idea of saying, oh, you know, yeah, come on, we're going to go. Come on, we're going to go. Oh, she look good. Oh, I have someone, I, I can go on a vacation. I have someone to travel with. They don't even like you. <laughs> they just trying to matter. Exactly. <laughs> that's it and that's all. They're not worried about you. Y'all be feeding it. But like even with my relationship, I got a good relationship. And a lot of people know that. Even my friends told me they literally predict that I would be the first one to get married. Annoying. <laughs> They're gonna have babies first though. The hell I'm I'm gonna have marriage and then a kid. But um and people always try to put our like relationship down and like when I ask for advice, which I stop, they always say something negative and it's like I'm not leaving my man. I just want to vent. Like, mm -hmm. why are you so strong on destroying something? Fine. Like it's just a little we bickering right now. And I just want to talk to a friend and I say, oh, you should leave him. Oh, you know, you yeah, better than him. Oh, you do this. Vent. You do but that. if it's like a really terrible situation where we're talking about like abusive or mental abuse, then that's a problem. Like, right. But know the difference between a good friend and a hating friend. Literally. And know the difference between a bad situation and a good situation. Because abuse is abuse, period. No matter what type of abuse it is. Especially, girl. I mean, people, you know, physical is physical. Now that hurts you physically, but mental abuse... That will screw you, you up. That, that hurts. hurts you to the core, to the veins. Like, that will mess you up. So if you stay in that situation, you are literally stopping yourself from moving on in life, period. Like, literally. You could get a better job, probably somewhere in North Carolina, but he doesn't want to move to North Carolina with me. So I'm going to stay in New York and get $12 an hour. You could have got 22 in North Carolina, and they would have mm -hmm. made you head manager and brought it up to 27 right. so You could have a house on the way. But no, you want to play around and just, that's a part of abuse. Being right. manipulated into staying trapped, like you're trapped. Facts. A lot of women are manipulated and they don't even know how or why. Yeah, for I sure. Mean. Because people grow up with daddy issues. So they're desperate for a man's attention. So they deal with it all and say, oh, well, you know, this is what women have to deal with. No, you could be free dating yourself, stress-free. It's a thing to be stress-free and alive. Mm -hmm. People think just because you know you're in a relationship, Oh, everyone must argue that. Oh, so we're fine. Even though this hurts my heart and I hate coming home oh, because he stresses me out every day. And you can have so arguments, rude. but like crazy arguments? Every day to the point where you want to just jump in front of a truck. Like you're nah. so upset. Like nah, you're so toxic, hurt. bro. You don't want that. Especially back back to having a kid. Do you want that in your life? Mm -hmm. Like, do you want that? Like, do you want to have this back and forth? Let's say, sis. Bro, whoever that's watching this, you having an argument with your um, baby mother, baby father every single day, and nothing's changing. And you want to stay with that? that? You want to stay? You don't. You're lying to yourself. And then let's say your grandma, your mom keeps saying, or your dad, whoever keeps saying, nah, this person is not for you. I know sometimes people be like, oh, I don't care. Da, da, da. Most of the people that really, really care about you, they will I'll tell you the truth. Like, nah, this person's really not for you. They are trash. They terrible. And you have to listen to those people. And you have to kind of see in their eyes. Because like, you're blinded when you're in love. Or even when you like someone, you're, you're blind. You don't yes. really see things for how they are. You see things for how you're manipulated to believe they look. But we, on the outside, we see you look crazy. Like, this is not okay. You look, you look crazy. Big crazy. <laughs> like, you look sad. You are sadder you are more upset you're just not the same you you used to be like mm -hmm. we remember how you were happy mm -hmm. fun 
whoever. Now you're just down and always talking on focused about this one in particular person because there's always a problem. Every time yeah. I see you, there's an issue or something to vent about, talk about. That's not healthy and it gets lame for the person who has to listen. Especially when you right. keep going back to the same person you keep complaining about. Mm -hmm. You're complaining about someone during our hangout time. So now we're not even really enjoying, I'm yeah, not enjoying my time together. Mine, but you're going back to them every time. Why do we, let's talk about this. Oh, you will not be about to smoke on Like, what? stop talking about him. <laughs> stop talking about him. It's annoying. Or her or whatever. Whatever, whoever. Especially like, someone who is pissing pissin you off. Head. Tell me something positive. I want to know that you're doing yes. good. Not that someone else is stressing you out. Honestly, do something that you always want to do. Write it down. Write, Write five it down. goals you want to do. Get a notebook. Get a piece of paper. Say five goals you want to do this year. It's 2021. I know 2020 wasn't the year. But now nah, wasn't. we're going to figure it, it out this year. Because this year is just, come on. we gotta get This is the blessing year, okay? You have a talent that you don't utilize, but you know you can benefit money-wise off of it, and it's passion, and you're passionate about it. But you're sitting on your ass. 2020 is the year to get up, invest. I don't care if you got three hundred dollars. When I started in my business, I had probably a four hundred dollar check. I literally took three hundred dollars, kept a hundred to eat for the week, and just chill and hang out and save that. And I took the three hundred dollars and invested into my business. And then I got. Not cheap products, but like just a few quality products. You don't want cheap, you want quality. Mm -hmm. But to test things out, you don't have to splurge on, you know, products and stuff, but you need to start your business this year that you've been wanting to do. Whether it's singing or acting or trying out for Medea plays, you wanted to do it, you know you can. Do it. Everybody do the same thing, but it don't matter. We're not competing. We're just all different flavors of the same thing. People don't want vanilla sometimes. Some people, sometimes people want chocolate. Then, oh, it's cold outside, so I don't want chocolate anymore. I want to go back to vanilla. Oh, matter of fact, I never tried strawberry before. We all, people don't like to jump into things because, oh, well, she does that too. Okay, mm -hmm. you can do so it differently. Good. You're messing up your blessings because of the next person. She'll probably be, she probably want someone to do the same thing as her so she can relate to someone. You can make friends in this industry, but you're scared and you're making excuses. 2021, we're not doing that. Fact. We're just not doing that. It's just follow, get up. Follow your dreams. <laughs> follow your heart. You. Follow your heart. This That's year. the biggest thing. If something keeps telling you in your head, do this, do it. Some That's your heart. Some way, bro. That's your brain and that's your heart. You need okay. to jump on it. Because my sis right here, she's been through a lot. I ain't. She gonna make a YouTube soon and tell y'all what mm -hmm. happened, okay? But I'm making YouTube, y'all. I'm making YouTube. But she went through a lot. I'm at her um, house right now. I went. I drove all the way to Long Island. Says, okay, you know, yeah. An hour and change okay, drive, I'm and I work it. today. She got her hair done today, hair and we done. still made time for each other. Facts. Make time for your people that you your love. Family, your family, your friends. family, friends that's always there for your you, real always friends. check on you. Make time for them. Seriously, they might be checking on you like, hey, sis, hey, bro, whatever. And people die every day. Don't act like they don't. Literally. Yeah, they right. they don't act like they don't. They do. So y'all need to... I can't say put the grudges aside because if someone did you dirty, they did you dirty. Mm -hmm. But, like, put the work aside. Put the everyday life aside and make time for someone you love and you care about and you communicate with all the time. Fine. You guys obviously, you know, love each other. But if it's, you know, someone that you don't get along with, whatever, bye. Whatever. <laughs> but your loved ones, for sure. You gotta make time for your loved ones, period. Yes. You just have to. Yes. It's good for the soul. Like, I feel much better that my cousin came to see me. Like, because I was just telling her. I was just telling her, I don't have no friends. Like, everybody else is fake. It's just. And my best friend is not in town right now. That's my boo. But he's not around. So, I just been feeling down and just dry and all these bitches. And I kept my word. I kept hey. it away. I was like, like I'm coming over Wednesday. I was like, real bad. I got up at 7.45. And I got up at 7.45 today. Took five clients. Still, look at us. It's 11 o'clock. Stop with the excuses. Okay. Stop, Stop with, the excuses. with the excuses. You can't. You're not gonna go see your sis, your bro. You keep making excuses your all the uncle, time. Your uncle, your auntie, Come and the on. worst is your grandparents because they could die tomorrow, bro. Anyone could die tomorrow, but it's just more likely for your grandparents. Fact. Go see them. See them. You've been Tell them you wanted to. Them, bro. That's it. You on the phone and they ask you how you are and you rushing them off the phone and you not no, even saying I love talk you. Talk to them. You Breathe. Never know, Chill bro. out. Like where are you going? Talk to them. You never like she said. You never know. That's foul. They love you. They raised you. They changed your diaper. They. Bought you gifts, they uh, came to your graduation, they love you. 
So to see you turn them away, like elders, that's foul. Just y'all need to get it together. Y'all really do. Facts. But um, I'm looking at the time, so we gave a little, you know, advice, chat, chat. advice, advice with the cousin. We lit lit. Oh okay. my nails! I'm so cute. <laughs> the nails. We gotta get the nails is going to get it done. <laughs> <laughs> the nails is going to get it done. She do nails too. I sis. do nails. Okay. But I do lashes too. She didn't believe her. She'll be tight. If she... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, y'all. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Go follow my sis. I hope you enjoyed my video. And I hope you will listen to our advice because we some real females. All right. We from New York. Y'all ain't no, follow us, period. We're not gonna lie. Peace out. See you later. Peace. <laughs>